Hey everybody, welcome back to Aces Tech. So in the spirit of doing it for the people, I bring you a prototype. We've been putting our ear to the ground and listening to what the car community is saying. And we see a lot of aftermarket CDI boxes on LS motors, want to use our throttle body, this, that, and the other. So figured why not talk to some engineers, talk to a few manufacturers, and bring it all together. So now we got a jackpot, trans control, full tunability, coil and ear plug, throttle body set up on a single plane cathedral port intake. This thing's gonna be dynamite. So as you can see, jackpot harness, got a little uh, throttle plug right here for the body. All good to go. I can't wait to install this for you and show you what it can do and the full tunability package it has. So not only can it do the timing and everything, but it can do the fuel strategy if you're looking for that TBI look on your LS motor. So let's get into it. Welcome to the wiring harness section of our Jackpot TVI today. So as normal, if you're familiar with the Jackpot already, you know, we have a couple coil sub harnesses. They, they plug into like an LS3 style small connector coil. Not a massive deal. You gotta make sure those are grounded to the back of the cylinder heads. It'll give you a headache if you don't, or at least a no start or a weird start, oddly enough. We have a standard issue 4L60, 4L80 uh, trans control harness. The Jackpot TBI is going to do trans control, which is the exciting portion of it all because, you know, why not? Why, why have to spend extra money on an ignition box and a trans controller and, uh, you know, fuel injection and TBI unit when you just get it all in one package for a reasonable price? So, on with the harnesses. We got the trans control, we got the coil harnesses. We still got the same loose lead harness that come with the Jackpot. I'll explain these individual wires here in just a little bit, but normal stuff tack out tack in this that and the other so on to the main harness this this is where it gets really interesting for me because we got the big connector for the jackpot big fan of it we still got fuse number one and two we still got two 40 amp relays we got the transmission connector it's a probably 12 pin something like that trans connector we got the cam and crank sensor so we're gonna be able to do 24X by one, 58 by four on this application here. And at some point, we're gonna add in the ability to do a Hall Effect pickup as well. So you can use this kind of setup on a classic engine at some point, but now this is a prototype. We're doing R&D. This is, this is the last step before this becomes a product. I'm excited to share it with you. So we got the ignition connectors, not a massive deal. You know where those goes, they go to the coils. Or if you're gonna run a full house with this as well and put out a whole lot of spark energy, you'll use these connectors onto that to drop some direct coils. Oil pressure sensor, standard issue, three pin GM connector. Then we got the NOx sensors. This configuration right here, it's a two wire. So if you got a Gen 3 that they're underneath the intake valley, it plugs in natively to the already supplied harness on the engine or whatever donor engine you're using. If you're using like a 58 by four, like a Gen 4 motor, there's a sub harness that plugs into this and splits the signal you know, signal one, signal two, then it grounds to the engine, splits it off to each side of the engine block. Plenty of harness there, almost too much, but enough to be able to, you know, wire hot everything appropriately. So let's continue on around. This is the fun part. This one's not gonna use dual wide bands because of how the fuel is applied to the engine. It's coming in the top of the plenum right here, right in the top of this 4150 flange on the intake. So it's gonna be evenly distributing the fuel to all cylinders. So we don't need to do a left and a right bank. We only need to have bank one, which in a jackpot, if you know, is you know the driver's bank. Or if you just decide to choose one O2 sensor like we're doing in this, it'll be in left or right. Doesn't really matter because we're only using one. That's a Bosch LSU 4.9. The uh, the best part, the, the PIC connector. This is going to the throttle body. Now, instead of it going to your normal throttle body, TPS and all that, you're gonna to go to our kill shot style throttle body, our ACES TBI unit. It's gonna set right on top of this 4150 flange. It's fantastic. There's no extra fuel rails or anything else. You've got your normal 43 and a half PSI or 58, depending on which system you're using. And it's it's got a nice classic look. I like the gold throttle body. I more prefer like the pink throttle body, but the black one's pretty cool too because it flows with the color of the intake. So we go on around here we get to the additional wiring harness, which is gonna be where our loose lead harness is going to. Not a massive deal, they're, they're, uh, there's, there's quite a lot going on here. There's also some add-ons in here too that, you know, they're just wires, but we are adding more features in. So we, as a convenience, we just left them in there for you. Let's get on around here. 
Yeah, I think that's wrapping it up. We got the normal can connector, the, the positive, the negative, the switch 12 volt, the fuel pump wire, all pretty standard issue. We got the coolant temp sensor over here. We got the fuel pressure sensor over here. I mean, this is your normal jackpot harness with a very interesting extra plug in it. That's, I'm excited. I'm excited that we can get together and bring this to you. So the next step in this process, we're gonna install this thing on one of our engine run stands and uh, show you some live action with it. So come back and see me for that. Thank you. Welcome back to the tech studio here. So we're at our 24X by one LS engine and we're doing the throttle body. I went ahead and took care of some light work here. We got the, the multi-port, or not multi-port anymore. It's a 4150 single plane cathedral port intake. It's already bolted down, torqued it to 89 inch pounds, as you do, and put our 4150 throttle body on top of it. We're running a return style fuel system in one side, out the other, back to the regulator, returns the fuel cell. We just wanted to save a little bit of time and kind of get it all pieced together. Um, we got our coil harnesses already installed, each one of the coils, you know, one, three, five, seven, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. But you want to make sure to attach the ground on these things right to the back of the cylinder head. If you do it to the valve cover, it's not going to work so good. You think all the bolts, everything is all isolated with rubber. So it's not really going to be a good ground source. Um, so right to the back of the head with you, it's just fine. It's actually good to connect them to between the heads and then off to a ground drain somewhere. I went ahead and got the 24 x by one harness as well. Um, went ahead and hooked it up. The, the crank sensor, it's, it's a black sensor, three pin, no big deal. It's sitting behind the starter, so you normally have to drop that to install it. It's a lot of legwork to put into a video, so we went ahead and dropped it, installed it, so you guys didn't have to watch uninstall it and reinstall on a starter, which most of us could do if you're doing a system install. Cam sensor's right here in the back. There's another variation of this that uses a front mount cam sensor, but that's, you know, that's more of something I'll release in a tech document down the road for the LS26 liter application. We got ourselves a zero to 100 PSI pressure transducer back here for the oil plug. Not a big deal. I mean, we're, we're set up and ready. We're just gonna do some final touches on the, the harness install, um, show a few key connections and all that, and we're gonna start this thing up. This is gonna be LS throttle body. It has the ability to do trans control and quite a lot of other stuff. The best part is the full tuning capabilities of it. So if you want to get on your laptop and dial this thing in, you can do so. You don't have to dial in subsystems like somebody's ignition box and then all those parameters and then our fuel system and all those parameters. So, oh, I'm excited about this. Well, let's get to the wiring portion of it. All right, so I went ahead and hooked up the, the battery. Positive and negative directly to the battery. We're trying to avoid transient voltage. Um, the key 12 volt switch, I mean, we're using this industrial switch over here, so that's pretty self-explanatory. We got a nice relay hooked up for the fuel pump. So just your real basics as it goes, where you think things go. Um, but I really wanna show the plugging in of things here. We got the, the wide band number one over here. This one, where it's a throttle body, it's only gonna have one wide band O2 sensor. Like I said, Bosch LSU 4.9. We just click it right in place. Not a massive deal. Uh, our NOx sensor, for instance, this is a Gen 3, so it's got them in the intake valley. We'll go ahead and we'll find that sensor, knock right here. We'll get that dialed right in. It's just a two wire. The, the Gen 4 kind of splits off to both sides of the block. Um, that's fine, they're, they're okay like that. We got the oil pressure right here. Not a big deal, plugs right in. That's a small GM style connector, so not too bad. We're gonna have ignition. One, three, five, seven. We're gonna hook it right up into our coil wire. So let me get it on straight and it'll be okay. Let's see. Sometimes these environmental seals are actually pretty tough, which means they're sealing really well. There we go. Yes. That is not gonna leak. We got the other bank, bank number two. We'll get this dialed in right here. We're not running a transmission, so we're not hooking this up. The, let's see, cam and crank. Now, I've already ran the cam and crank wire itself to the, the sensor right here and to the sensor behind the starter. So we don't need to do too much work on that in this video, but just clips right in. Not a big deal, there's five wires to it. The, what's the next one we got here? We got the fuel pressure sensor, which we're not using in this one, and we got coolant temp sensor. So we'll go ahead and kind of pipe these up front here. Our coolant temp sensor is kind of way up here on the uh, on the water pump itself. 
And the most important and exciting one is the throttle body connection. The throttle body connection, as it goes, is new to the jackpot system. So we'll go ahead and clip this thing in. Not a big deal. We'll get our coolant temp sensor plugged in. We'll make sure we got enough wiring harness here. Let me get it in. Too easy. Now we're all set up. We got cam and crank. We got oil pressure. We got the ignition. We got the positive, negative, the switch 12 volt. Um, let's see, we got the fuel pump active. We got the jackpot already done. Now, because, um, because it's new, the, uh, I'm not gonna run a handheld, but I'm probably gonna plug one in later and go through the setup, but we'll check back in on that. So we got our wide band, we got everything we need. We're not using a loose lead harness on this because we don't need any outputs for anything. The electric fan, it's actually ran off the test stand in this operation here. Not really a big deal. So I think next we'll, we'll fire this thing up and see how it goes. Clear prop. Ah! That's amazing. All right, so first fires up are amazing because of the style of fuel system we were in. We already had fuel up to the throttle body itself and it kicked right off. I mean, that starts, that starts really, really good. I, I'm excited that we're doing this kind of development here to bring it to you. Um, I can't wait till this hits the market. So, Again, thank you, uh, thank you for playing along with us here. I mean, this is this is how the R&D process works. You get into a hot garage, you're out here turning wrenches, installing things, working with engineers and manufacturers to make products for the people. Um, because I mean, we're listening to you. So many people requested this exact setup, and it's been less than a year since we've really been started working on it, and it's already a thing, and it's going to hit the market soon. So, I mean, keep the suggestions coming. I mean, we love it. So if you got an idea, you got something you're interested in, you got questions for us, just, you know, visit our website, acesefi.com. You got tech questions, tech support at acesefi.com. You want to buy something, customer support at acesefi.com. It's, it's, it's lovely. So thank you and keep the suggestions coming. <laughs>